Um, first, just uh, share the feelings, you know, the emotions right now. Uh, I know Tings Pro has sort of been a, you know, your rival the past couple of years in Division Two. Uh, you guys pulled it out tonight uh, in overtime. Just how's it feel? Uh, better than anything in the world. So excited. <laughs> Third time's chart, right? Yeah, talk about um, those previous, you know, a couple games last year in the final and then this year. I know you guys had a tough result to them. Uh, and how did that motivate you guys coming into this game? Um, we actually watched our tape of us playing them in this season yesterday. I think that got everyone fired up because we realized if we made our shots in, we could beat them. Yeah, our mistakes were so flexible. We could come in this game and have a really good shot of winning. And our coach like smacked down on how to play defense against them, and I think that's what went on, what had us win this game. Yeah, we buckled down and executed. Right. Was there any specific strategy you guys used against them? I know uh, they they had Hogan out. Uh, did that change the way you guys approached the game at all? Um, no, nah, because they're all three point shooters. So we knew like we had to we played a three two because that obviously makes you play the three point shooters. And we knew which ones were like their the high scores, which ones were the rebounders. So we knew what to close out on each individual player. We just did a good job of executing. Yeah, Aaron, can you talk about your game? Uh, I think you had the you were the leading scorer uh, from both teams, and um, you know, are you just feeling it today? You were converting on a lot of a lot of shots. Yeah, I just worked hard, and these guys gave me some nice passes and put me in a great position to score, and I just put it in. Yeah, uh, most of the game, uh, you guys were down. You know. A basket, maybe two. Uh, can you talk about being in that role? Were you, were you ever worried that you wouldn't be able to close the gap in the end? I don't think so. I don't think anyone was worried. Um, especially when 34 fouled out, I think that sealed the deal. Yeah. We knew that we could do it. Yeah, I mean, we never got down by more than like six or something, so we knew that we were right in this game. Still a pretty young team. Uh, most of the uh, rotation players all back next year. Yes. Uh, can you talk about this little run that you guys have had, you know, making it to the final last year? This. This year, you guys, uh, you know, get that monkey off your back and get the title, and and still have, uh, you know, maybe a year or two ahead of you guys. Yeah, it was really exciting to come in this year. But we did lose a couple really intense players that were going to be in our grade, but they dropped because of injuries and other reasons. But I mean, it would have been great to have them this year. But having like we played together since fifth grade, it's been a growing chemistry. So that's I think what makes us such a strong team. And we all want to win. We all want, we're all basketball players. We all just want to go out there and win titles, and that's what we do. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, Nishoba does good in other sports. I think this is this might be the first uh, title for both girls and boys. Yep. Yeah. Um, can you talk about sort of bringing a little bit of respect to the Nishoba basketball no program? Big deal. You know, we're just like the first team. It's special. <laughs> they really is. probably just be remembered forever.